the Wilson case holder overview. The purpose of this video is to make sure you get the right case holder for your application. We make several different types of case holders. We make new case, fired case, and standard case holders. When we make a new case and a fired case, we do that because there is a significant difference between new case and fired case resized cases in the diameter of the body that we need to make two holders. And I can show you that difference here. This is a new case and a new case holder. Perfect amount on each side to trim. It's only necessary that the case has to protrude for the case holder to work. But let's look at the fired holder. This is the new case and the 308 fired holder. You can see this, this would probably still work, but most of the holders for the new case and a new piece of brass are gonna slide too far forward. So it's optimal to use the new case for the new case holder. Now we can take a look at the fired piece of brass. This fired 308 in the new holder does not extend enough over here to trim. Taking a look at that in the fired holder, it's the perfect amount to trim. Once these enter the holder, you wanna tap it on a surface, usually a block or a piece of plastic, to set it in the holder. Wilson rifle case holders are made to hold the case by the body taper. That way when you trim, it's simulating your case being in your, your, uh, your gun's chamber, basically. So this is a very accurate way to trim head to case mount and will get you a very accurate case length from, from one to the next. To get it out, tap it back on that block, and that's it. Standard holder, we call standard when we don't make a new case holder. I can show you the difference here. These are cases from different batches. We have a little more than a quarter inch sticking out of this one. These are the 223s. We've got just enough trim there, maybe an eighth of an inch. In this case, even less, about a sixteenth. But it's still enough to trim if you're only going to trim off about ten thousandths. So no matter how this sits in the holder, it will always trim the same length because of the two stops on the trimmer. So don't worry about how it sits in there. Make sure you have enough to trim and enough to extend on either side. That's the most important part. For straight wall cases that have a rim, like a 38 Special, we've got this rim we can grab onto. We make a quick action or Q-type holder. This one also works for the 357 and the 38 Super Auto. Drop the case in, it sits on the rim. You can see there's enough sticking out or protruding to trim. Take your cross pin, which I've marked this side. So you want that always to enter the Q-type holder in the same uh, orientation. So I like to line up the arrow and the black mark that I made. This is because this pin can vary in uh, thickness. So if you put it in the same way every time, you'll get the same result every time. And you tap it on the block to set that pin back to the trimmer, lock it in, you'll need to adjust your stop screw forward, proceed to trimming to remove, same thing, tap the pin out, and the case falls out. Lastly, we have a hardened pistol holder. This is for the 40 SNW. On the pistol holder, we need to press the case in and out. 
So this is a long, slow process, but it's very accurate. So if you're gonna do hundreds or thousands of cases, I would recommend a different trimmer. But if you're looking for nice, accurate, square cuts on some competition pistol cases, this may be a good option for you. Set the case mouth side down with the rim side. Place it on our, I like to use the necktie decap base, or you can just make a block of wood with a recess. Um, you want to press this case in. The arbor press is the easiest way to do it. As you can see, there's enough to trim right here. This holder is designed to be used with fired cases. And that's due to the fact that we want to make sure we preserve the crimp. So we like to trim pistol cases and then size them because they don't, they don't grow as much as a, as a bottleneck rifle case. So to get it out of the holder, I like to use a little piece of wooden dowel that I made, set it on the necktie decapping base, slide the dowel inside, and then press the case down and out. Then you can proceed to the next case. That's the basic overview of all the case holders that we make. However, we do make special case holders in the rifle case holders for cartridges we don't offer. But if your case is bottlenecked and has taper to it, meaning one end is smaller than this end, we can make you a special holder based off your cases. In order to do that, contact our sales department or go online. We have more details on how to proceed with that. That's the basic overview of all the case holders. Hope that was helpful.